Let's see the damage. Oh yeah. We got quite a bit of... Why is it up in the front there? You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We got some issues going on here. Load of fertilizer, broken fertilizer spreader. Load of fertilizer. Yep, ain't gonna spread itself. <sighs> okay. Yep. That is less than ideal, but alrighty. Let's dive into today. Let's get that fixed. Let's get that spread. Manure tankers hauling the last of manure out. It's just going out back a little bit so i'm gonna have quite the amount to chisel plow come the end of the day so appreciate you guys watching along let's dive into today get this fixed do some trucking and let's have a good day so this spreader it's time for either some real love to this spreader or looking at something different this piece of tape is actually holding a hole there's a bolt hole that's missing but it's getting rusty uh this thing is i don't know if it's 15 years it might be more than 15 years old so stuff gets uh crusty and rusty after that long working fertilizer even though we used to religiously wash it out after every use and so that shaft had broke off and i've never adjusted that shaft last time i priced out that piston it was stupid money some odd shape uh from coon and yeah, I could probably find one aftermarket this and that. I just welded the end of it back on. Same with the snap ring was missing, so we just tacked a little few around it. If we ever have to take that off, we grind it. But now it moves nice and easy back and forth, closes. So that will be good to get the fertilizer out. So we might look at different options because yeah, it's getting tired. Um, we could sandblast it down, repaint it, but fertilizer is just nasty stuff. Do a little oil check. We're actually in a good boat. Got some dirt here. Still gotta change that line, but it's working. It's definitely working, so. Should see if the hydraulic guys can build me one out of. Braided lines. Ooh, we're a little low. We'll throw a little bit in. And then we'll get chisel plowing. So, yeah, tractor is running in front of me with manure out back. I want to get that done before we get into fertilizer spreading. But this rig, I can't get over how this rig looks. Like, wild. I like the combo. Love it when things come together. Definitely a setup. So, last manure that we got to haul out until we take the cover crop off is right out the back door. Um, we did a little bit out there just after the tank sump, but didn't get worked in. I really want to work it in, so I'm headed out there. Tanker tractor is running, and uh, I guess we'll stop and check out how much he's got out. He hasn't run that long, but he's putting it on a little lighter, because once we're done with that, we'll get moving on fertilizer. go check in on them. Got the AC going. Oh, it's off right now, but it was going. I got it on low. It's hot today. So I think he's liking loading down on the flat more. It's just a better setup. Tractor's been running good. Yeah, so running just a tractor, it's not that fast paced, but today, well, we dropped it down to a good way. He's got three more loads, he says, to go out back and then uh, it will be done. So all of this will go on corn ground. We'll get it completely empty. It's actually agitated up very nicely. 
there's just a crust on the surface but when we go to finish our last day of hauling we'll run the gun we'll break up everything get it sucked down yeah this stuff would have been pretty good with some uh, fertilizer I totally forgot that I did it out back here had a lot of things going on I guess there he goes we're all done here so five days six days probably we'll get the tankers rolling again but yeah not a bad run this spring a lot of road travel so not as quick as we possibly can do but been pretty good had to do a little bit of tinkering made a whole mess i cleaned it up as best i could this side was plugged and then it was dripping water off this side this side we got to run the hose is missing that runs down that's, i guess that's been missing since the start so i gotta do that fix that but now this one runs this way so we'll just plug that one off all the water will go out that way blew everything out yeah we're gonna go double check the ac since I messed around with it a bunch and then we're gonna go spread um, a section of fields and some seating so the seating I put in to give it a bump so it'll get going really good and then tomorrow we're gonna finish up spreading and I'll get the tractor a distance away from home I'm worried about putting fertilizer out and then not getting it to it tomorrow till tomorrow hopefully so I'd rather make sure I get everything incorporated quickly and then move ahead some more plus it's already it's like 5 30 now so fertilizer spreader gonna get put on the 6155 i'm gonna go check this over today uh, getting dragged on got the ac working in this it was overcharged got the water line on this side good tried to make the water line on the other side good and uh well it's plugged or fighting me so we're just gonna cap it so it all comes this way <sighs> that's ready well we haven't run it so i hope it works and then the 6155 m the hitch arms won't do anything nice right here we go new tractor problems i've seen this before millennial farmer had the same issue with his six series and we've had the same issue with ours There we go. Now it'll work. Yeah, they don't go down any longer. So, no weight on it. Try standing on it right now. Stand on it. I think we got it out of its locked position up at the top, but with no weight, they don't just don't go down. They literally just don't go down with no weight on them. There they go. Hey deer, fix your tractors. Let's see if this will rock and roll or we gotta turn the truck up or what we gotta do. Truck just stalled? It just stalled out when I did the hydraulics. Just shut off. I put it down in fourth. We'll see all we got for flow. It shut off when I picked it up. <laughs> Auger up. Um. Down. Have them back underneath. Whew. Tires holding from tire jet. Might have to put a little bit of air in it. Might be a little lower than I thought. Oh. Okay. 10 inch on. Inch on. I don't know if this has enough hydraulic capacity compared to the white truck, so we're gonna see.
only going to spread two and a half tons tonight. We'll spread the remaining three and a half tomorrow just because I ain't going to have enough time to work it in and I don't want fertilizer sitting on the soil. So let's get going. Well, that's never good. It's never good when your crane's sitting here broke down. Especially not, what's today, Thursday? A good day? No. What's wrong with it? Uh, oh, it locked up? That's a rough go. Good luck. Lovely night. So, this grass just doesn't grow anything, and we've talked to the landowner about redoing. I think that house sold. The guy who came out of the house is not the guy I recognized and he was staring at me all funny. I pulled down there and this unit of a setup. So that field spread there. He's got about four acres in there. He's gonna spread that. I'm gonna top him off. He's gonna actually go and do the seeding that I put in this spring. We're gonna feed that. Hopefully it will take off and Yanko's already run the geese out of here. So that's good. You did a good job today, bud. Proud of you. I'm proud of you. But I had a little mishap here. Yeah, the door came open and uh, I didn't realize it. So that's where we're at. Off to the next one. So we got a throttle here. Get your PTO. We'll go do, we're just going home. He went to go spread the last, a ton out. I actually got to drop the shovel back off because I did shovel that back on. So I'll drop the shovel back off in the barn. And uh, yeah, we'll go home and come get the tractor come down and start plowing this. We'll head back to the farm, jump in the tractor, and get going. Tomorrow we got, we got quite a few more acres to go. Um, but hopefully after that we'll be done spreading or we'll be done tillage work until I get the cover crop off. We got discus to do, but I don't consider that a heavy tillage work. There's a lot of car traffic here tonight. I don't know why. It's a Thursday. Um, gain it. Day by day we'll gain it. We'll jump back and uh, Hopefully that crane has moved and they're on their way because that makes for a pretty shitty uh, Thursday night, especially because I'm sure that crane started early this morning. That, I'm sure you guys like to start real early. And the mechanic was there. Uh, I don't know if you heard it in the video, but the, the guy said it brakes just locked up and it won't move. So even if they got a tow truck, Trains are heavy for a reason, clearly. They're not supposed to be moved when they don't want to be moved for a reason. So, even if they got a tow truck, that's probably a hard uh, thing to move. This trailer is a little longer than the dump trailers and the manure trailers. We just skate around town and do our thing. I do love running this truck compared. I love the White International, but this thing is nice. Somebody said, oh, wait till you get a Kenworth or a Peterbilt. They, I got friends that run Kenworths, Peterbilts, Western Stars. And yeah, running them every day, they're definitely more comfortable. But there's a reason why these things are, uh, there's a reason why these things are, 
what they are is taught. They live the life in America, and then the exporters get them, and they go live a life in another country, and then when they're tired there, they rebuild them because they're worth so much more than other trucks, and they're even they're easier to work on than everything else, and they're just tough. So, no, I don't think I'll ever own a Peterbilt or a Kenworth. They don't appeal to me. Like they're cool and everything. I like them. Not for what I do. I just drove past a small hay field that we don't utilize and I would, I'd like to. And uh, instead of utilizing it for hay, somebody started mowing it with a lawn mower. It looks like it. Could be a rotary mower, file mower, but that stuff never makes, drives me nuts. Wasted land. And uh, they're never grow we're never getting more land, so. Well, I can see that the crane is still there. So that is not good for them. We'll sneak back through though. Other than I think they moved their trucks around and that low hitting them one might be a little tight. Well, the mechanic is underneath the truck, so. just have to back up what? you might have to back up that tree there I think I'll tap my box oh you're having fun too yeah let's see yeah he's having a good day too you're okay, Anko. Let's see if we can miss not in his truck. This is what we're working with. You see it back there? Yeah, we're good. We got it. Oh, no, we don't. Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, Mark's behind us with the, with the trail, with the trommel. He went and picked up a bigger screen trommel, so. But he said he's got a four inch rusty piece of metal in his tire of his truck. That's not good. So they're gonna switch out the trommel, which is the big roller screen on the screener to screen compost. And there it is. So Trumpsford Crane is coming over tomorrow and swapping that out. So maybe we'll get to see a little crane action. You think they'd let me run it? I hope they bring one of the cool ones, but I bet they'll bring one of the new ones. Just because getting around. They got some friggin' awesome old stuff. Yeah. Grab some diesel fuel and uh, we'll get going for our night. Shouldn't be too crazy. And then tomorrow, a little trucking, a little plowing, we'll be good. They did uh, wire back in the tank. So the diesel fuel tank is full. I think he said 300 gallons. He, we filled up some stuff with it. The guys who did the work cut the wire in three different spots. So it took us a few minutes to figure out where exactly they cut everything. All right, we'll swing it around because the diesel fuel's on this side. We'll get filled up and go. Since the crane is down at that end of the road, we're just gonna, we'll take the shorter way, but the more sketchy way. At least it's getting dark. And headlights coming so we can stop and these headlights show off pretty well that blind people that they stop and this thing does have 
flashers and whatnot, but the settings either regular beams and flashers or work lights or just flashers. So we were on work lights that way people actually see everything. And we're running the dual stuff like that, but yeah, all part of it. AC is blowing cold. It's these caps get pretty freaking hot, so. So this field here is uh, the field that actually got replanted and then got drowned out. So as you see over here, we got a little corn that never made it. And the ground's actually working out very well, but if you remember in past videos, we went over and checked out the dam that they redid. They dropped the water level back down. And, well, if we bury them, we'll dig. But we're down pretty deep. Uh, it's working at some, but this ground has always got some moisture to it. So hopefully we'll finish up this pretty quickly. I got most of the front done. Probably got a quarter left here, and then I got the two other little fields. But I think that is a new landowner that owns the field next door, I think is it. And I don't know if they're impressed with me being out here. to make it home be awkward if we didn't oh let's see the damage oh yeah we got quite a bit of why is it up in the front there uh oh did we blow a line somewhere else or is it just oh it's spraying out i think it's just how it's spraying out uh, I guess we'll see in the morning. Definitely think it's just spraying out weird. So right there, I see it's wet. I think that, I hope that's it. I hope it's not a injector line because I know I can't get those uh, made locally. Not very well. well yeah. <sighs> Maybe with some searching, but alrighty. I'm gonna get out of here been a long day appreciate you guys watching along we got all sorts of stuff sucked in there appreciate you guys watching along we're gaining on the tillage maybe we'll see some crane work hopefully the crane's not up in the road i'll let you know if it is but it's 11 o'clock i am tired we still got some we got fertilizer to haul fertilizer to spread tillage work Put this on the discs and the rolling baskets get the planter done get rolling so appreciate you guys and i'll see you on the next one have a good one update crane's still there they are not having a good time 